Don't catch it. Temperatures dropping into the 20s tonight. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine back in the 40s. And we start to see those clouds thinking up as we head toward Sunday night. We are watching a weak system that could bring a couple of flurries. And I do mean just a few. Not everybody's going to see it. Woo! We see clouds, but we could Woo! have a few flurries. The best chance is yes. in North Mississippi. Then we head toward the rest of Monday and things are looking dry. But of course, you know, we can give you that first alert to that very cold air coming our way well from the north. So we're talking a nice cold core of very frigid air that's going to be uh, upon us as we head toward the middle to end of the week. So Christmas Eve and Christmas Day are looking very good. <sighs> Notice the temperatures. They go from the 40s down to the 30s, and then we're talking highs <laughs> in the 20s. So get prepared. We are watching that potential for some <laughs> snow. That chance will be on Thursday. <laughs> we start off the day dry, but by the some rain, the <laughs> temperatures will be above freezing. As those temperatures fall, we could see a mix of rain, sleet, maybe even some snow, and that could potentially change over to hot snow as we head toward the evening. Come on. Again, still Come a lot on. of uncertainty with the Come system, on. so we'll keep you up to date to really to tell just how much we'll get. But of course, Come we will on. continue to update right. on this as it gets closer. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. Woo. You can see the big changes that Woo. are headed our way. Upper uh, Let me cool down. Upper 40s, upper 40s uh, Sunday. And Woo. low 40s on day Monday, upper 40s on Tuesday, and then temperatures falling big time uh, Thursday, Friday, and even into Saturday. Heart rate up and bump it, boy. Okay, thank you. More guns than ever have been found at airport checkpoints right. this year. The changes the TSA is making to try to discourage travelers from... I got a cousin that me, told me, asked me why not go to a gym and work out for an hour. For what? I'm not finna go and pump the wine for no hour. I got a dumbbell here. I do push up. I'm not trying to impress nobody. I did that when I was younger. And I enjoyed doing it when I was younger. From the age of 14. When I bought my first dumbbell, barbell set. And I was pumping iron. While the rest of the family was asleep, I was up at night pumping iron. And I enjoyed it. And I enjoyed the progress I made. And I enjoyed other people looking at me and saying, Woo! But the old days over. I told a friend of mine, I won't keep this heart going right. Keep them sugars down. The high blood pressure down. In the words of Rick Flash, 